What is up everybody? It is Gorilla Man here back with another farming simulator video and in today's video we are on the Wisconsin slash Illinois border map. Uh, this is the seasons seasons modded map. If you guys don't know the, the map comes with seasons already installed in it. Uh, seasons is if you don't know yet, I'll show you real quick just so everybody knows. Seasons is the game is broken up into seasons now, like actual like harvesting seasons. Like you can only plant things at certain times, otherwise they'll die. You can only harvest things at certain times, otherwise if you harvest them any other time, you can't harvest them. Or if you harvest too late, they die. Um, I.e. winter. Winter will kill everything. Uh, minus oil seed radish and poplar because those are like trees. But guys, today it is the first day of autumn, and if you check here, first day of autumn. Uh, falls right along this red line here and we currently have wheat and soybeans planted so what we're going to do is we are going to start our harvest of soybeans right here um maybe maybe start to harvest soybeans but definitely we're going to i've already started a little bit of the wheat so we're going to continue doing a bunch of the wheat i got a bunch of new things to show you guys a bunch of new items um i figured out quite a few things in the past like hour i've just been chilling playing the game i'm trying to figure things out and i think i got a I think I got a pretty good idea on what we need to do and what I need to do to get ready for winter especially because winter is gonna be harsh I mean winter is coming guys winter is coming it's fall all right guys but first what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop in this guy we're hopping our high country lights are already on that's weird there we go um we're gonna run over and we're gonna grab oh it's getting really dark out too we're gonna grab our uh a baler I think it's a new Holland Baylor. We're gonna grab that guy. We're gonna take that down with us. Where's that at? Oh, it's back here. I passed it. We're gonna take that over to the farm with us, and I'm probably gonna progress the day because it just got done raining, so our crops are wet, so I can't harvest them yet because you can't harvest wet crops. Um, so I might progress the day in just a minute here. Hook up. All right, we're just gonna set that set that guy to 120. We're gonna get it going. But anyways. I'll show you guys what we got going on over here. We got a ton of stuff right now on field one. Yeah, was it one, two, three, four, maybe, I think it'll be five things now we'll have over there. Five pieces of equipment. Um, yeah, yeah, five pieces of equipment, six pieces of equipment now. Uh, we got a loading wagon. I've um, basically, ooh, this guy's getting a little squirrely. I basically, uh, let's, I'm trying to progress through night really quick. Come on, maybe it'll go soon. Maybe um, I'm just gonna keep clicking Alt N. Maybe it'll maybe it'll go by. There we go. So what we got over here is we got a loading wagon. The loading wagon is currently full, so I need to go empty the loading wagon. So that's the reason that I have bought uh, brought over this guy because this guy is what we're gonna use to pick up the rest of our hay or our straw swath here. We're gonna turn it into uh, bales of straw. And I'm thinking about maybe wrapping that or just saving it. Either way, I'm not sure yet. We'll just drop him right there. He'll be good there. There, now we can shut off our headlights. But what we got going on here, guys? Shut that off. So we got our 4955 attached up to a loading wagon. He is running around, and I am picking up a bunch of stuff with him. Uh, it's full. I need to take that back. I need to find a spot to dump that probably in the straw area of the cows because we don't have any cows there yet Let me go around here. Then we got our uh, we got our, I think this is the wolf's combine. We got this guy and it is piping out into this brand new It's an auger wagon. It's a uh, John Deere 650 uh, Sunflowers bunch of demand for stuff. It's a John Deere 650 auger wagon um, Or just grain wagon whatever you want to call it that suits you then we got our man truck here. It's uh, holding everything. This guy right here can hold 45,000. And the reason I decided to get an auger wagon instead of going directly from this to that, I wanted to go from this to this to this, was because I was driving to work the past few days, guys. And I've noticed, because um, I drive past, like, I drive past pure, like, cornfields and soybean fields. That's all I drive by. For my entire, like, 10 minute drive is just, just fields, straight fields. So what I've noticed is, um, the farmers so not only okay yeah they have like they have helping hands so that'd be nice to have a helping hand here so we might get the squad in here soon um but if you guys notice all farmers usually have one of these they have one of these and then they might have a gravity wagon or i saw a few of them have gravity wagons but most of them have these just the big trucks that they just toss everything in haul it away come back 
And then this just sits right here on the side of the field or close to wherever they want it. I don't know. They usually, I've always seen them on the sides of the fields. They sit them on the sides of the fields and then they just pull up next to it, dump, and they keep going. And then the other person will run this, track or truck that back, come back, and then they'll turn this on. This will pump out whatever it is, and then you wait. So this fills up again, and you just pump it out. And once that's done, you go take the back. So it's like a good median. So this makes it so nobody has to stop what they're doing um, at all times, pretty much. And it's really, really nice and convenient. Especially if we had two people here, it'd be crazy nice and convenient. It's really nice for me right now too. Um, I don't, I don't mind doing all the extra stuff, but it's really nice, and I love it. Where were we at when I was doing this? Oh, we were back there. All right. But yeah, I love it. It's super nice. And I think I'm just going to start using the auger wagon from now on. Um, hmm. I'm not sure if the squad uses one. But I'm definitely going to recommend to him and tell him like that's how you should probably be doing it. Maybe he will. Maybe he won't. I'll see what he says. But we're going to get this guy. Probably should close that. We're going to get this guy going again. We are about halfway done with the wheat field. Let me get this guy going. And what I think I'm going to do is, I think we might finish the wheat field in this video. Um, it's just going to be just going to be tons of hard work for us to do, guys. But we're going to finish the wheat field in this video. Uh, right now, we're going to take the man truck back. Um, and we're not going to... I don't know if we should sell yet. Let me show you guys the selling prices. Oh, wait. No, we're good. Never mind. This was really low. This was at like 4000 earlier. So we're going to be selling at the deck lab... Or, uh, De yeah, deck lab or to call it, whatever you want to call it whatever you want to call it we're going to sell on at this guy always pretty much I mean yeah that's like the one that gives us the most money because it's just meant for like this map they purposely put it in there so we're going to go to this one we're going to highlight that it's way over there if you can see that but we're going to make our way Ooh, we're going to just swing wide and cut in here Ooh, it's probably, I need to turn off 120, my bad. We're going to cut in here, and we're going to make our way over to the, what's it, D, D club, D club, D club, whatever you want to call it. Whatever you want to call it, I'm saying it wrong, I know I am. Uh, we're going to make our way over there, and we're going to drop off this grain. we got about 42,000, which is, a, I think it's a lot of money right now, because the way that the modders made this map is, whoa. Just got really quiet all of a sudden. Oh yeah, because we're not having to listen to um. Uh oh. Uh oh, what happened? Oh, our engine shut off. I was like, what the heck? All right. So if we just go straight here, we can cut across at this at a field. There's like a little intersection in the field we can cut across. But anyways, guys, the way the modders made this game is they knew that like, each season uh, you're not gonna you're gonna need more money because you're only harvesting and usually getting your money once, maybe twice, a, uh, like a cycle, uh, which is every 36 weeks. Dude, our truck keeps shutting off. Whoa, that's weird. Did we need to take this thing in to get worked on? Oh yeah, maintenance required. That's why. All right, while we're over here, actually, we'll swing by and we'll get the maintenance taken care of. Um, or do I, I don't know if I have a maintenance. I know I have a maintenance area back at our farm. So we'll take a big circle around and we'll go drop. Ooh, I should probably not be driving this guy's grass. Probably doesn't want that. So we'll go. We'll take this guy back. We'll get it maintenance work done really quick. Uh, we'll go make a bunch of money, so it doesn't matter anyways. But yeah, that's weird. Yeah, maintenance. I got maintenance coming up too, everybody. On um, pretty much everything. I need to take everything back in to get work done. All right, here we are. Here's our selling point. All right, we'll unload from the back. Oh my gosh, look at all that money. Holy crap. Oh, I've never gotten so much money for wheat before. What the heck? Wow, look at that, guys. $264,000 purely from harvesting half of the wheat field. That is pretty amazing. Holy crap. Okay, that's pretty That's pretty solid. I don't even know what we're going to... We're probably going to make a couple million. We're probably going to make like a million or two million then with this harvest, including soybeans. Dude, that's absolutely crazy. 
Holy crap. Okay, so. We're going to take this back. We're going to get maintenance worked on really quick. I've never actually had to do maintenance on a vehicle before in this game, guys. I mean, I don't know if that's... Yeah, it's just never have had to do it. Never needed to do it either. All right, so help our eyes nearly full. Once he fills up, we'll tab over there. Hopefully, we'll be back by then. Doubt it, though. Okay, so I got a little uh, vehicle work spot right here. I don't know where this guy wants me to pull up at. Let's see. Can I not work on it here? Configure, customize. Ooh, I can change the color. Yeah, change that sucker to green. Uh, now I'll leave that color black. Customize, yes. Oh, but then the trailer. The trailer's still a different color. Oh, man, we're gonna start the engine like three times now. We'll hop out. We'll see if we can get this guy working. Will this guy work? Ooh, we can't. Okay, so our maintenance spot is. Let's go find it. Maintenance. Uh, seasons. Maintenance. Uh, maintenance is every 30 year, thirty hours or half year, whichever comes first. Vehicles pass their due. To repair your vehicle, and drive your vehicle to the garage or placeable garage, and then left alt plus R. Um, left alt R. Left alt R. Nothing. Okay, we gotta find out where our garage is at. Um. Hmm. We gotta find where the garage is at. Yeah, let's scroll all the way to the back here. Let's go to places. Or right, no, that's not places. Uh, we gotta find the garage. No, no, no. Okay, then these are all fields, so I think we're kind of out of luck for that. Okay, that's just a customization spot then. So, okay, we're going to go back up the road here, everybody, and we're going to go see if we can find a garage to get this guy worked on. Because we need this thing to be in, like, a good running order and not to, like, start and stop awkwardly because that's just going to throw a big wrench in everything. Oh, look, like I just did there. See? It's just like starting and stopping at random. Okay. Um, I think the garage was the area where we just came from. It's the spot right below where we drop everything off. I think. I think it's tractor supply. I think we have to go to tractor supply, guys. We're going to drive down here to tra tractor supply. Um, not there. Although there are semis right there. Alright, tractor supply is right there. You can see it right there. So hopefully they'll repair this for us. I don't know. I haven't had to repair anything yet. Oh, this throws a wrench in my plans. I wanted to get uh get to finishing like all the harvesting today. Okay, I think it's right there. I think they want us to take it right there to our right. Oh, I'm inside the building. What the heck? Okay, there we go. Whew. Oh, maybe right here? Let's try it. Nope, that was S. Hmm. Okay, I'm having issues with this, guys. Where is it at? Huh. Maybe it's right here ahead of us. Maybe I'm just blind. 
Oh, maybe it's here. Maybe we gotta like pull it in or something. Nope. All right, guys, I have no idea right now. I have absolutely no idea how to. What does it say? Okay. vehicle to drive a vehicle to the garage or, or a placeable garage and left okay so they say we have placeable garages vehicle workshop shelters okay I don't know guys I'm confused here is it like large vehicle shelters or I can't figure it out we guys if you guys if you guys know let me know in the comment section down below let me know if you guys know how to repair vehicles I think just for this episode I'm just gonna have to suffer through it man cause this looks like a workshop like straight up this is like total workshop in here I don't know maybe I'm just losing my mind maybe I just can't figure something out just a little thing hmm I don't know guys but yeah, comment down below, guys, if you guys know how or what I'm doing wrong. Let me just, yeah, let me know. I would be greatly appreciated. We're just going to drive through this field of grass, guys. I don't care right now. We, we got to get this guy back. We got to get our harvest going. Yeah, let me know if you guys know where the garage is at. Or a placeable garage is what it said. Because I need maintenance on this truck really bad. And actually, now that I think about it, I probably need it on everything else also. So I said you could drive into the garage, but yeah, I don't know. All right, let's get back. Let's get going on some more of our harvest here. That's not garage there. Oh, well, yeah, now I'm gonna need maintenance. I just plowed the front end of the uh, man truck into something. All right, so let's get back. Chuck's starting and stopping on us already. There we go. Yeah, so we should be getting 10,000 per every thousand of soybeans, and we'll probably get, I'd say somewhere around 200,000 soybeans, so two, is it like, so it, I think it would be somewhere around like maybe 200,000 times 10,000, so maybe a million, maybe two million, I don't know guys. If we do though, that would be insane amounts of money for us to get, and I'm excited because come winter, because you know, winter, winter's coming guys, winter is coming, we're going to be able to just go crazy with cows and sheep and all that good stuff because I really wanted to do like get a lot of sheep guys me dehire the worker because sheep are easy sheep just chill there sheep don't really do anything pigs are way like harder pigs need a lot of stuff and we simply just can't do pigs right now mainly because we don't have all of the crops for pigs I was making sure I pull it to the right spot we don't have all the crops for pigs. Um, we might be able to do the bare minimum, but we don't even have corn, so I don't even think we can really do that. There we go. See, yep, it dumps from that right over. But yeah, so that's why we're going to stick to cows for now. Um, I'm thinking about sheep. Don't worry, guys. I am thinking about sheep. Hub. Oh, there it is. Right here. Because we only got, yeah, because they're just water and grass, and that's it. That's all sheep need. Oh yeah, and by the way guys, so you guys told me, I didn't realize this, but you guys did tell me that the grass that I threw down for the cows, it would despawn, and it did, I didn't realize it, but yeah, so grass uh, despawns in the bales every couple days, um, like I only have, yeah, like a lot of the straw here has been here for a whole day, so that's why it looks weird, because at like midnight every night, uh, no, not at midnight, I think it's like every day or so that the straw just like slowly deteriorates when it's in like swath piles like this so basically what I'm gonna need to do is I'm gonna need to I just can't I can't leave straw laying out in the field like this I can't go through like a whole day I had to though because it rained which really sucked but I absolutely had to do that mainly because um, I couldn't do anything else the straw had to lay there I couldn't really touch it um, I was still waiting for the rain to stop and for me to get everything else over here so that it does suck but I think we've got it figured out now. Let's drop off that guy. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to run along and... Oh, my bad. I thought I hit Q. And we're going to bail. So we already got that guy chilling in there. 
And then I think if the Strasswath is kept um, in a container, it won't despawn like the other one, like all of everything else really has. Um, unfold X. Oh, and then also, guys, I have this John Deere Baylor's pack. Let me show you guys. I'll switch to it soon. Don't worry. But we got this guy right here. This does wrap. It turns loose straw into convenient bales. It wraps them, basically, because that's what it says for all of these. Um, I feel like this is the circular one. Uh, this is the square baler. And then this is the wrapper. I don't know if the, it can wrap both. Um, but we'll find out here. I mean, I just want to test it. Um, we're going to be doing squares though or not squares rectangular we're gonna be doing rectangular bales um, hopefully we can catch up to our harvester there guys because he's pretty far ahead and I don't wanna I wanna be able to catch up to him or get at least half of all the stuff he's done so far uh, bailed up and then what I'm thinking about trying to do uh, I'm not sure if this will work or not if uh, guys keep in mind if I say anything and you guys know it's wrong uh, just comment down below and let me know I will definitely see it and I'll respond to it um, and the more comments you guys leave the better it is for me because I get more information from you guys like some of you guys are like veterans with this like seasons mod and whatnot so you guys know way more than I do which is great like I absolutely love that because you guys can help you can share knowledge everybody else in the comment section can see it that's a great thing but yeah anyways if you guys see anything I'm doing wrong here I've said this before Comment it down below. Let me know. Whoa, what happened to that bale? That was weird. Yeah, let me know. Uh, I would love to know if I'm doing something wrong. I'd love to fix it. Like, you, they commented it about the uh, the grass. I, I shouldn't have said... I shouldn't have just let the grass sit there like I did. Um, and then I, I learned. I learned my lesson. So now we'll figure... Now I know. Uh, just don't leave it out like that. Um, so I'm going to have to figure out what to do about storing it and bailing it I'm just gonna bail it all for now just because I mean it's no big deal for this current moment but eventually I will need to figure out like a permanent storage I'm thinking about just doing like a hayloft I I'm pretty sure that it wouldn't despawn in a hayloft because it's it's not like out in the open or anything let me check really quick now now I'm curious for myself um Swaths of hay, grass, and straw will be. Um, so that's swaths, but I don't wonder if that counts for baled straw. Loose straw and hay cannot be sold, but if it is baled, it can. So I can sell a bunch of the baled stuff. Oh, we're getting a little bit off, a little off course there. See, so yeah, I can sell sell anything to. I can sell anything that has been uh, bailed up, which is nice. I don't really know if I will. If I can, I would personally rather stockpile um, the biggest amount I can. Okay, yeah. You see this, this, these straw swath piles that we're driving over have pretty much like nothing left in them, just because, just because of the fact that they've just been out here for almost like an entire. They've been out here for almost two days now. Which honestly sucks, like I put the effort in and I kind of lost a little bit, but it's alright guys. So yeah, probably next video I will be, I'll be seeing if I can get the squad to hop in on a video with us guys. Uh, I really want some help like trucking things back and forth uh, for the soybeans, because the soybeans I want to try and knock out all in one video. It might be a little bit of a longer video, um, but it'll just mostly be a work video. Oh, or I could just, I could live stream though. I might try and live stream the video actually though guys. Let me see like hey guys like this video if you guys want me to live stream um us just harvesting all of our soybeans it'll probably be like an hour or two live stream but i think it'd be pretty cool because if we get like the squad in here or sensor tv in here with us i think that'd be really really fun and i haven't done a live stream in like a month and a half and I, i'm kind of itching to do another i just didn't know what i what i should do it on but now yeah i think harvest uh, a harvest live stream would be really good Although I do need to figure out if my internet right now can support it. Because I did move spots, guys. So my internet is kind of weird now. How many? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, about seven uh, uh, straw bales. So we're going to tab over. Alright, this guy's done. 
Now hop over. He's got about one. Yeah, he's got about three, three paths. Three, yeah, three paths left. Hopefully, he can finish that in one last quick, uh, quick sweep. He probably can. So it's about two truckloads, two man truckloads worth of wheat for this harvest. So the goal is, I'm just gonna try and keep. I'm just gonna remember like that amount because I'm gonna try and beat that next, uh, next harvest. I'm gonna. Finally, I'll, get, I'll do fertilizing. We did fertilize once, but we didn't fertilize as much as we should have. Uh, I wasn't able to like buy a sprayer or anything. I didn't buy any manure spreaders because I don't have any manure and I didn't want to go buy any. But next season though, guys, since we're starting slowly, slowly getting veteran at this uh, map and figuring out how seasons works, we will be doing um, fertilizing and all the good stuff. That's the whole reason for the seasons, basically. And so it slows the game down. It makes you do each individual step. Um, it, it's just a lot more meticulous than the regular game, which is perfectly, it's awesome. It's absolutely awesome. But, um, you just, yeah, you gotta, you gotta try and do everything. Let's swing around here. I'm gonna make it up to where the, the tractors are, or where the harvester is, and then we're gonna, we're gonna hop out of this guy and let this guy sit for a bit, and then we're gonna get him going again. Uh, and then I think we're gonna end this, guys, and I'm gonna try and finish up uh, all of this field today and um, I'll finish up the rest of this once I once we stop the video guys but I'll finish up the rest of it uh, because it's supposed to be raining on that Sunday right there if you guys see in the upper right side it's gonna rain tomorrow which is not ideal for us because that'll wet the crops again which sucks a lot um, so then we'll have to wait till Monday and then so I think on Monday we might do our soybean harvest yeah, probably Monday. Oh, depending upon if you guys want us to do the live stream. Let me know if you guys want us to do the live stream. Especially all you guys that have stuck through this video so far. Like 27 minutes is what we're at right now, which is crazy long. Let's shut this guy off. Can't waste gas. Alright, so he has finished emptying in. Let me check what our man truck's at. He's at about 47%, about halfway after two. So he can take four full loads. So yeah, he'll be able to he'll be able to finish this off. Let's go get the harvester back on, get our hired workers going again, guys, and then we're gonna end it. So guys, if you guys like this video, if you guys are loving this season mod as much as I'm loving it, I would love to see you guys hit that like button. That also let me know that also lets me know that you guys want to see a live stream. Um, I'm not sure yet if I can live stream, guys, but I will try my hardest to. Let me see. There we go. And guys, if you aren't yet, um, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I know there's probably a few people that aren't subscribed that are watching these videos. So if you guys just hit that button, we're so close to 30,000 subscribers. There we go. Wouldn't well, that be absolutely crazy once we hit 30,000 subscribers? My goal right now is 50,000. Um, not probably not by the end of this year, but that'd be that'd be awesome, guys. I would absolutely love that. Like. Oh, it's just great guys. It's just amazing. And then can I get everybody if you guys aren't yet Join the notification squad. I know the squad He has a bunch of people on the notifications hit the little blue bell hit my little blue bell And you guys will see when I post videos daily Because um, I'm starting to post them daily again. Oh look at those ducks flying overhead So yeah, we're posting videos daily again guys. It's kind of irregular So I, if you guys hit the notification button hit the little bell button you guys will see exactly when I post my videos so you guys know so you guys don't miss them and that'd be absolutely I would love that if everybody watched the videos that'd be crazy so thank you guys and I'll see you all in the next video